Hello and welcome to Kid Design's first tutorial on 123D Design. In this video, we'll talk briefly about starting a new project, signing in and saving your work, and also understanding the main environment and interface in which to work. So the first thing I would recommend doing is actually signing in so that everything you do can be saved to the cloud. To do this, go to the right hand corner and click sign in. And then you can either log in with your Facebook account, create a new Autodesk account, or sign in with an existing one, which we're going to do now. And as I said, once you do that, you will uh, realize that here will appear your name. And then you can save everything to either my projects, which is in the cloud, or to my computer, which is on your um, hard disk. So the first thing to understand is the environment. Everything you design uh, should fit onto the grid, which you have in the center of the screen. Uh, you can modify the size of this grid by going to the right bottom corner and uh, choosing the dimensions of the grid and also the units. So this uh, allows you to pick exactly the size, perhaps of your 3D printer or of the uh, size of the model you want to achieve and uh, make it quite precise. So you can up update the dimensions of that grid. The next thing is to understand how do you actually view the model from different views. So you have a very useful tool here, again in the corner, which is called the view cube, which allows you to quickly uh, toggle between different views. So now we're in this three-dimensional perspective view, and you could either view it from the left, front, top, basically by clicking on the different um, edges of the cube or sides of the cube. Now, if you want to create your own view, what you could do is use different commands on the mouse to move around. So the right button on the mouse will allow you to orbit. So to move the camera around, if you click it and drag it around, you will be able to look at the grid and your model from different views. The scroll allows you to zoom in and out, again from different views. Depending on where your mouse is, the zooming will happen differently. So if your mouse is in the corner here, you will zoom out into that corner. If your mouse is here, you will zoom into that corner. So just try and play around with that to understand how to rotate the view and um, orbit your camera. If you would like to move your camera around, your viewpoint, click the scroll button and that, uh, and then drag it and that is called panning. So again this is not rotating the camera but rather just moving it around. Now all of this can be done with the mouse or you can choose the options on this side menu here. So you have pan, orbit and zoom which again allow you to uh, move around. Now just for the sake of it let's just create a quick model in the middle so that I can show you a few other useful options. There is a button here called Fit, which if you click, it will fit your entire model into the full screen. So if your model, for example, contain these two cubes, and I clicked Fit, it would make them fit into the screen. This is quite useful if you're sort of lost in your uh, model and you're like, you don't know where you're looking from, and you just want to quickly go back to the default view you can click fit. There's another uh, default button which is the home button above the this little house above the cube which if you press will just take you back to the default original view. A few other options on this side menu here is where you can toggle between material and outline view. Let's just have a quick look. This is a material view, this is just an outline view and this is material and outline. And this other one here, uh, the eye symbol allows you to either show solids and sketches um, or it, just one of those. Uh, you will understand better what this means uh, in the further uh, tutorials that we'll do. Okay, so that's it for the first video. Uh, please check the other ones to uh, see more options on what you can do and how to create models. Thank you.